तो दोस्तों द रीजन वाई वी हैव टेकन दिस इनिशियटिव इज बिकॉज ऑफ अ वेरी स्मॉल स्टोरी दैट ऑलवेज इंस्पायर्स मी यू नो द रीजन वाई वी आर टेकिंग दिस सेशन द रीजन वाई वी हैव कॉल्ड आयुषी मैम टू गाइड अस यू नो एंड आई वॉन्ट एन आंसर फ्रॉम यू आफ्टर दिस स्टोरी टेल मी वन थिंग गाइज if there is a ship which has a compass which has a captain who exactly knows where to go are the chances of that ship more towards reaching a goal or that ship where the captain has absolutely no clue where they don't have a compass where there is no direction is that ship is the ship too have the chance to reach its destination more is it ship one or ship two put in your chat box guys put in your chat box yes right it is ship one because before they left the shore they exactly knew where to go and guys the reason why we have gathered today is because we don't want to take any random risk you know resolutions just because everyone is taking this because there is this peer pressure ki kya hai tera uh, is bar ka you know uh, new year resolution most of them uh, if they are ca aspirants it's obviously to clear the next level of ca be it inter ca be it final ca and the second most popular after that is to lose weight right and to become more healthy and right? i'm sure that is uh, i was actually reading a research that from 1971 to 2023 this is one uh, resolution that is common across decades right but guys why are we not able to complete what we resolve on the day one have you ever thought about that why do we just give up on the way and not stick to our goals till the last day have you ever thought about it no right guys today with ayushi ma'am this is what we are going to ponder about we are not just going to take a resolution and a pledge we are going to make sure that how we stick ayushi ma'am is going to teach us what is that exact self talk that we will give to ourselves when we become emotionally weak where we know that it's harmful to binge watch that instagram reel or that youtube video but we still do it anyway to wo self talk kya dena hai hame exactly you know at that moment that is what is i feel ayushi ma'am is going to teach us this wonderful evening right because as it is said you know and i write this poem uh in my uh, summary book guys it says that thinking about doing a thing is not doing a thing reading a linkedin post about doing a thing is not doing a thing watching a video of how to do a thing is not doing a thing thinking about all the admiration that you will receive after doing the thing is not doing the thing hating yourself about not doing a thing is not doing a thing hating someone else who is doing that thing is also not doing that thing what is doing the thing is all about doing that single thing i hope you all got that context and i hope that was relatable because i have also been through that so guys today with ayushi ma'am who is a chartered accountant but she chose her life should be dedicated for a very noble cause and which is why she is now turned a study hack coach where she helps students study less and score more by improving their focus by improving their concentration and by implementing techniques that will up your game that you've never even imagined and throughout the session i will also be there present learning from her because i've always believed in one single thing guys you teach 
I teach as I learn and I learn as I teach. Absolutely. So Ayushi, thanks a lot for being there and accepting our invitation. Okay, a small introduction, guys, that I would like to give about Ayushi. Ayushi is a chartered accountant who's cleared all her levels in the very first attempt. She was in PwC for six long years where she had an amazing illustrious corporate career. She's also worked for PwC Canada and she's mentored thousands of students with zero negative feedback. And she's inspired so many students who are about to quit their CA journey, but carried on and completed it more so after her mentoring. So guys, a big round of applause for Ayushi, ma'am. And I want to see a heart in your chat boxes right now so that we can welcome her with all the energy and enthusiasm so that she can help us make 2024 as the best year of our lives. Over to you, Ayushi, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much, Karan, for this lovely introduction. And thank you so much for having me over here. So let me, okay, so thank you guys. Thank you so much for all those lovely hearts and claps in the chat box. Lots of love to all of you. So let's get started. So guys, how many of you have big dreams and goals here, right? How many of you have big dreams and goals over here in the room? Come on, raise your hand. Let me see how many of you are big dreamers. Yeah, ambitious people in the room. Wow, fantastic. I see the room is full of amazing people having big dreams and goals. Brilliant, guys. And how many of you would like to achieve them, would make them possible in this year 2024 and making it the best year of your life? Come on, raise your hand if you would like to achieve that goal in this year. Yeah, amazing, guys. Amazing, raise your hand. Brilliant, guys. Thank you so much. And before I get started, a very heartfelt thanks to Karan for having me over here and a big thanks to all of you, okay, for showing up in today's live session. Over so many things, literally thousands of things you could have done on the evening of 1st of January, you chose to be here and it means a lot to me, okay. So thank you so much for being here and my sincere effort would be to make it the best, best 1st January of your life till now. Come on, type best in the chat box. Type best in the chat box if you're super duper excited for this session to get started. Yeah? Amazing, guys. Amazing. Brilliant. Now, what are we going to do in today's session? Okay? So, number one thing, we're going to reflect back on how your journey has been so far. Okay, we're not going to move ahead without reflecting back. I'll come to the importance of it. Okay, so how many of you would like to reflect back to your journey so far? Yeah, it's going to have amazing realization for all of you. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Brilliant. And then I'm going to help you identify your goals and identifying a system to set them up. How many of you would like to know your proper, have a clear vision of what your 2024 should look like? Yeah. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Thank you so much. And towards the end, I'm going to discuss how you can ensure that this year, okay, your goal does not remain just a goal, but you also end up achieving it. Raise your hand if you're ready to achieve it. How many would like to achieve them? Yeah? Amazing, guys. Amazing. Now, those of you who are joining my session for the first time, let me tell you, okay? Whenever I take a session, I have two rules. Just two rules. Simple two rules okay now rule number one is showing up all right why showing up is important because you see my energy and excitement here is nothing but a reflection of your energy and your excitement over there and when i see students happy and excited guess what it makes me happy and excited and when i get happy and excited i share more and when i share more you learn more, okay? So every single one of you who's eager and excited to learn a lot more, come on, turn on your cameras very quickly, okay? And here you are in a safe environment. And believe me, just by this little action of showing up, it says a lot about you. Why? Because you are changing the way you have shown up in the past. Maybe you come from a background where you have never turned on the camera. But here on the first day of this year, 
you start by turning on your cameras and showing up in the session, it gives a signal to the universe that yes, this person is ready for the change. It's ready for the transformation. It's ready to show up. Yeah. And beautiful things happen when you learn how to show up. So yes, it's just going to be a click. Click that button, turn on your camera. Believe me, uh, nobody's judging you. Because nobody's looking at you. Come on, everybody's looking at me. So you are all safe, okay? Just turn on your cameras. Yes? Rule number one. Come on. 10 seconds, everyone. Turn on your cameras. I want this entire screen to be filled with beautiful faces, super enthusiastic students. Yes, because it's your participation. It will make it an amazing session today. Wow, amazing. Now, second thing, okay? Second rule is participation, okay? Participation. I just don't want this to be the next one hour of random lecture and then you go back to night and wake up with the same person as you were. No, not at all, okay? I want you all to participate. When it comes to participation, I want you all to be ready with a pen and paper. How many of you are ready with a pen and paper, by the way? Yeah, I see a lot of my mentees. Yeah, they already know the rules. Amazing. And I can see you and I'm so happy seeing you in 2024. Lots of love to you all. Yes. Amazing. So let's talk you who have not grabbed a pen and paper. Come on, grab some pen and paper. And we're going to do some process which will help you get the clarity on the vision for 2024 and also set up a system which can help you achieve the goal. Okay, 10 seconds. Everyone, grab your pen and paper. Brilliant. And uh, when I am here and I see a bunch of my mentees uh, <laughs> sitting over there, I cannot help myself seeing your smiling faces, but to acknowledge your presence. So Lavanya, uh, Gitanjali, Nimisha, Tulsi, Ismail, uh, Achal, Ankit, Krishna, Ashwin, Bikram uh, uh, Jeet. Amazing, guys. I'm so happy seeing you all. Come on, type EPS Warrior in the chat box if you're coming from my mentees group. Yeah. So I, those of you who don't know, I call my mentees warriors. Yeah. And I see a bunch of warriors sitting over here right in front of me. I'm so happy to see you all. I'm so glad you all joined because I could not wait to see you. Okay. We'll have some sessions in this week, but I'm so happy. Michelle, Anshul. Wow, guys. Lovely, lovely. So amazing. Let's get to the process. Okay. So guys, are you all ready? Type ready in the chat box. Ready with the cameras turned on, ready with the pen and paper. Type ready in the chat box. And let's get started with the process very, very quickly. Now, let me ask you all a question. How many of you are having a lot of th uh, thoughts regarding your future? How many of you think a lot about your future? Think more about your future how your future should like, what you should do going ahead. Yeah? Many? I guess majority of you. Raise your hand. Come on, let me see you all. Do you think about your future? Wow, amazing. And how many of you think a lot about your past? How many of you here live in your past more than your present and future? Amazing. Now, one time one student asked me, Ma'am, people always focus, always preach that, you know, you should always focus on the present. You should always look forward to the future. But is it that should I forget my past completely? What do you guys say? Is it that you just ignore your past and you forget about what you have been through? What's the ideal way? What's the ideal approach? Yes, no, yes, no. Past ki mein sochna chahiye ya nahi sochna chahiye? <laughs> In simple words. Yeah? Sochna chahiye. Learn from the past. No, we should reflect and learn. Yes, depends. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, amazing. So one thing is sure. Yes, you should reflect back on the past. Now, let me tell you, why is it important? How many of you have seen a car? How many of you have seen a car? Car, normal car, SUV, hatchback, sedan, koi bhi, ghar mein car hogi, dekhi hogi, right? And how many of you also know how to drive the car? How many of you drive the car or have? Yeah. Brilliant. Now the answer about what should be the ratio proportionate of past and future and present. Okay. I get this analogy because very recently I started learning how to drive the car. 
and I was able to uh, reach or achieve my resolution of learning car driving in the last, uh, in this 2023, okay? And it also helped me learn a lot of uh, amazing lessons. One, which I'm gonna share with you about past and future. How much to focus on past and how much to focus on future. <laughs> Would you like to learn that? Type excited in the chat box. I'm pretty sure after this, you will never be confused. Ki past kitna hona chahiye, future kitna hona chahiye. Yeah? So what I realized, okay? There is one big glass. There is one big glass at the front of the car. What does it signify? It signifies the window and your view towards your future. For us, it is 2024. Why? Because that is coming ahead in your journey. And beside this one big glass window, uh, okay, this one big glass, there are two side glasses looking backwards, giving you a back view. Are they both important? Yes. For those of you who live only in the past or live more in the past, it says that you are sitting on a driving seat, but looking at the back. How many of you think that if you keep, if you just keep on looking at the back and keep on regretting the past, you'll have a very high chances of accident. Yeah. So the next time you find yourself just fretting about the past and living more in the past, remind yourself what you are doing and what you're heading towards. Second thing, if there's one big glass uh, window, right? Which helps us look forward. Now, is it that if we just look at the glass window and what is coming ahead in front of us, uh, we, uh, and we don't take a note of who is beside us and who is behind us, how many of you think that if we ignore the two side glasses and just look at the front window, front glass, we'll have a big chances of accident, yeah? How many of you think? Raise your hand. Yes? So here, let me conclude. It's not, it's never past or future. It's always both. Moving forward in your life, a, having a big view of your future, but also reflecting back on your past. Also having uh, the side mirrors in check having them as a reference, which can help you move forward in your life. It should be both. Just looking at the front will not help. Just looking at the side glasses will not help. Yeah, accidents to be hunger. Yes, it will happen. It's These are bound to happen. But what we are doing today is learning how to avoid them. <laughs> how many of you would like to learn how to avoid them? Yeah, that's the reason we have gathered today. So, number one lesson, okay, never ever forget your past. Always reflect back. And there's no be uh, better day than today, okay? So, I want you all to pick your pen and paper very quickly and write down how your 2023 has been for you. Think about it. How it has been for you. Has it been a good year? Has it been a bad year? Has it been a heartbreaking? What, what kind of year it has been for you? I want to give it some thought, okay? Give it some thought. Kaisa raha ye saal humare liye? Not too good, not too bad. Yeah, it can be average somewhere in between. But in that case, identify good things which happened, identified things you need to learn from, okay? Make two columns in that case. Good things, bad things. Come on, think about it. How this year has been for you? Heartbreaking? Possible. Good and not good? It's okay. Come on. Write both of both the aspects. What do you think this year has been for you? Mixed. Best year. Satisfactory year. Not good, not bad. Worst year ever. Eye-opener year for me. The worst. That's okay. Let's not label it, okay? Let's not label it. 
as worse or bad, I just want you to reflect back and identify how it has been. Don't try to label it. Try to recollect the events. Kya hua? You know how you reach where you are. So it says character development here. Yeah, for some students, it ha it may be have been uh, full of learnings, right? So all of us are different. That's okay. I've reflected yesterday year of uh, lots of mistakes and learnings, but I'm happy it happened. How many we done reflecting back on 2023? Yeah, let's be quick because we have a lot to cover. Are you guys done? Okay. Brilliant. Now, I want you to write down your learnings from 2023. Maybe you made some mistakes which you could not, which you could have avoided, or maybe some lessons which you learned. It can be like how to uh, be happy with your own self. It can be like uh, how you need to be in a relationship. It can be about anything which has happened with you. What did you learn from them? Maybe you lost friendships then. What did you learn from that? What is your key learning and what is your takeaway from that particular event? Whether good or bad, okay? What did you learn? Maybe you had a great time with your parents or your family. So the learning can be, okay, having family time is important. Spending time and giving time to family is important. So you can have learning from good also, bad also. Taking wrong decisions. In that case, you can identify what mistakes did you make which led you to making a wrong decision. Maybe you made it too fast or maybe you just listened to others and you did not give a thought to yourself. Or maybe uh, you made a decision but you did not take the action you could have taken. Identify the learning. Okay. Everyone, come on, let's do it. Emotional and mental stability is at most important. Absolutely. What about the rest of you? What have you realized? Working hard plus working smart, general thumb rule to achieve your goals as per me. Yeah, that can be one of the learnings. Not to underestimate ourselves. Wow, that's beautiful. Not understanding, uh, under, uh, estimating our own potentials. Yeah. That's a must. Time management. I'm able to control my emotions much better. Wow, amazing, Tulsi. Never blame others for our own mistakes. Wow. Patience yield results. Family is at most important. Never to hurt them. Overthinking. Self-reflection every day is important. Spending time alone. Wow. Not depending upon someone too much, right? That's a learning from me for me as well. <laughs> so thank you for sharing. Consuming unnecessary content. Yeah, it kills time and it does not serve the purpose. Compassion changes perception. Wow, this is beautiful. Never be harsh to anyone. Must daily reflect on paper every night. Prioritize yourself before others. Trust and patience. Keep the thought always on winning side. Don't show anger. Don't depend on anyone for your happiness or sadness. I'm practicing the surrender one. Okay. So guys, is there any, is a lot of uh, background disturbance from my end? Are you hearing those random voices? I'm glad they're gone now. <laughs> so there's a reason I had to mute myself. So invitation from Ayoda just came to us. <laughs> all right. So, okay. Amazing guys. Amazing. I want you all to take a note of this learning. Okay. And make sure you also keep a check on yourself if you're not repeating the mistakes. Okay, here awareness is a problem, uh, is, is important. Awareness is the key. 
okay we make mistakes but the only thing which can help you stop or repeating this mistakes in future is how aware you are how many friends in what i'm saying you need to be aware sometimes we do things and we are not even aware consuming so uh, media uh, social media content unnecessarily right not talking to our family members being overly dependent on our friends so here you need to be aware ki okay this has been a mistake acknowledge okay this is what i have done in the past and just this acknowledgement will help you will give you the awareness when you repeat the action in the future will stop you from doing it in future type ms in the chat box if it makes sense to you make sense ah yeah. brilliant guys brilliant so here we are done with the first piece okay acknowledging about 2023 what kind of year it has been and what are some beautiful learnings and lessons from 2023 which you guys have caught okay five biggest side mirrors are equally important the ratio may be different you won't think about your past all the time but yeah sometimes we need to reflect back now let's get into the next part setting up a vision for 2024 okay i'm pretty sure you're going to love this question if i'm going to ask you okay so how are we ready let me help you set up a vision for 2024 yes amazing how many of you want it to be the best year of your life okay now let me ask you a question how do you define your best year i want it to be the best year it's a random thought but what do i need to think about is what are some of the things which i expect to happen in this year which will help me or which will give me the feeling that yes it has been the best year how many of you understand what i'm talking about just saying that okay i want to make it best 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 not 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 you know not help you i want you to take a moment and write it down very clearly how do you want your 2024 to be what few things can happen in this very year which will make you feel that yes this has been the best year of your life what are some of the things you want to happen or take place in this year in simple words okay i'm giving you a journal exercise and you have to write as if 2024 has already been the best year of your life and how it has been few things which you would like to write on 31st of december 2024 thanking god ki okay i started with this i achieved this and this happened and this made me feel this way and this is why 2024 was the best year of my life <laughs> yeah i want you to move one year ahead from this moment not seeing it as okay this is what is coming in future but you are already in the future having passed 2024 and looking back and saying that yes this has been the best year of my life what are some of the things okay which will make you feel that yes 2024 has been the best year of my life for me good mental health plus best result clearing exam clearing exam what i do in this year my universe will give the best result define best result is clearing exam is best result is clearing both the groups is best result is getting a rank a best result for you or is it, is it getting many exemptions a best result for you how many of you understand what i'm saying let's eliminate the term best with the exact thing which will make it best how many of you got this yeah got this yes let's stop using this term best year best year no <laughs> define what would happen or what you expect to happen this year which can make it the best year think about it we are in not in hurry okay we are not in hurry just give yourself some moment to think ki okay what can make 2024 the best year of my life or what are some of the things if happens in 2024 will make it the best year of my life till now okay till now getting article ship in one of the big fours yes clearing may 24 both groups at the end where we get happiness yes clearing my exam and starting a stable job just for a starter point of view to make 2024 the best year of my life wow now here i would like to define uh, you to define what is what do you mean by stable job yeah let's stop using adjectives 
how much would you like to earn in that job what will make you feel that you have a stable job maybe you have a very nice boss maybe you are a uh, work timings are fixed or maybe it's close to your house or maybe you don't have to uh, you know do overtime define elaborate elaborate is the term here okay and that is what will help you give a lot of clarity on your best year let's define what according to you is best for you this year becoming ca panelist healthy lifestyle stable relationship itself making my parents proud wow investment 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 all right clear ca intermediate in this year clearing ca inter and be a ca panelist great exposure and money matter wow again elaborate okay elaborate define everything what do you mean by great exposure what do you mean by money matter maybe you are having some 50 60000 in your bank account and you would like to have a better sum but again make sure that it's possible if you are not in a job then you cannot say ki, okay if i get 5 6 lakhs more it will be the best year no <laughs> how many people understand what i'm saying best year as per where you are right now okay not the best year of your life entire life we have many more years to come but we want it to be best till now till now better than what you had in your life so far clearing ca inter come on take a moment and write down a journal thanking god thanking universe on 31st of december 2024 and writing a letter to universe thanking universe for having or haven't given you 2024 as the best year of your life what are amazing things happened this year come on write down let's set a proper a very strong and solid intention okay so traveling to your bucket list places can also make it a best year uh, trying out all your favorite adventure spots can make it a best year clearing net making investment in myself by learning new things that will help me with success wow to see i wanted to give ca foundation exam this year but I, it didn't happen but i am fortunate enough to give ca foundation 2024 yes so maybe write a letter to universe backward okay i was able to give my exam and i happened to clear it with great marks yeah i made some progress maybe i achieved my idol weight i i attracted uh, you know amazing relationships you got a bunch of amazing friends this year who does not let you feel lonely it can also be one of the things which can make it a best year right write down every single thing having a uh, getting time to spend with your parents going on a trips can also make it a best year so do not just confine yourself to exams and studies okay and i'll come to it later why is it important to think beyond it but right now when i say define your best year i want you to have a holistic view not just one area to year area okay career wise your academic success your uh physical success your personal development your uh, your uh, entertainment everything okay do consider make it a mix of as many things as you can explore in this particular year facing my fears मैम आप अपना कोई एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करो ना प्लीज दैट इंस्पायर्स अस डेफिनेटली विल डू इट लेटर ऑन ओके एंड आई विल मेक श्योर आई विल ट्राई टू रैप अप द सेशन लिटिल क्विकली सो दैट वी कैन हैव एट लीस्ट हैव 15 20 मिनट्स ऑफ लाइव क्यू एंड अ सेशन इज दैट ओके विद यू ऑल या getting opportunity to ask your questions i because i would like to interact with you i would love to interact with you but before that let's make sure <laughs> that you are set in your journey so that this year you don't just set or get goals but you also achieve them 
I want speaking and communication skills like you. <laughs> Thank you so much. See, you are in the journey. Nobody's perfect. But what's important here is to acknowledge, is to set a vision or goal. Okay, okay I would, I want to be like him. I would like to be her. Uh, you know, I would like to be like her. So yeah, identify, identify, expand your mind or having uh, amazing communication skills or uh, uh, good English speaking can also be one of the goals or can also help you make it the best year. Okay, I have become a very confident self myself, you know, confident version of myself in this year. Maybe you have not been so confident earlier. All right. How many of you are done identifying? <laughs> okay. What are some of the things you would like to happen in 2024 to help you make it the best year? Best year ka definition ho gaya? Yes. Tell me by in the chat box if you are done defining your best year. And guys, let me tell you. Okay. It's very important that you take action over here. If you are here and you are not participating, you are just wasting your time. Because motivation does not work. Action works, okay? Motivation does not lead to action. Action leads to motivation. My mentees, my students who are sitting over here, they know it very well. How many of you are coming from there? Yes? I always say, do not seek motivation. Do not seek inspiration. Seek action. Inspiration and motivation will follow automatically. Action leads to motivation. Yes, you can take a note of it if you are hearing it for the first time. Now that we are done, uh, you know, defining our best year, I want you to read whatever you have written over there. All right. And pick goals from your best year. Okay, maybe you wrote down, ki, okay, I would like to clear this exam. Then goal number one is clearing that exam. Second goal, I would like to reduce my weight by 5 kgs. Goal number two, I would like to travel to my favorite uh, destination or try my favorite adventure sport. Goal number three. Yeah, <laughs> type amazing in the chat box if you see what we are doing over here. Because most of the time people don't even know. Kya karna kya hai. So I have helped you define your best year and now we are going to pick your goals. And we will new year resolutions. Pe and then we will build a system. Yeah, type amazing in the chat box. This is the reason what we are doing. Okay, come on, very quickly. Pick your goals. It can be one, it can be two, it can be three, it can be four, it can be five. Pick your goals, write it. Okay, goal number one, goal number two, G1, G2, G3, G4. And share it with us over here so that I know what kind of goals you have here. And maybe if I can share specific tips related to the goals you are aiming for. Come on, let's do it. Travel favorite places and explore a lot. That's a brilliant thought, but again, no adjectives. What is favorite? <laughs> what is your favorite? Is it Andaman? Is it Canada? Is it Lakshadweep? Is it Jammu Kashmir? Define favorite, okay. Traveling to Kashmir is my goal. That's a goal, okay. Not like traveling to favorite places. No adjectives, okay. No adjectives. Not, no words like best, favorite, fittest self. No. What, what do you mean by uh, you know, fittest. Define, okay, what weight you would like to gain or you would like to achieve. Clarity is the key. Okay, be very clear. Identify your goals. Okay, goal number one, clearing CMA, inter. Goal number two, don't be overconfident. Okay, so maybe it can be working upon your own self. Great health, solo travel, be in the top 10 firms like RSM, KPMG, all right. Uh, G1 clearing my exam G2 gain weight by 15 kgs okay that's different and G3 go for a trip so Archil come on write down which trip road trip solo trip track snow track friends trip family trip in India outside India come on let's be clear what do we really want traveling to Varanasi beautiful clear my CA intermediate exam parents proud no <laughs> no what will make your parents proud? Write that down. Just writing parents proud will not help you. How many of you understand what we are doing over here? 
Yes. See, you really need to replace these words to get that clarity and to help you expand your vision. Varna, 2024, pura saal would become a quest for you to identify things ki, bhai, main aise kya karu ki mere parents proud feel kare. You need to have a measure, na, ki ha, if I do this, my parents will feel proud. So, I identify that action or that achievement which will help you make your parents proud. Hi ma'am, I have a doubt about goal setting. If I'm aiming to invest as much as possible this year, so should I be particular about how much I want to earn or invest? And in this way, are we not remitting ourselves? No, not at all. We'll come to this part, okay? The process has just got started. Hold on, you will get clarity on this. Okay, right now, just do what I'm asking you to do. Identify the goals. And the goal can be to learn certain skill and not define how much you will pay to learn that skill. How many of you understand? The goal is never key, okay. The goal is I would like to enhance my communication skills. I would like to work upon my personality. And the goal is not like, okay, I would like to spend 10,000 to, uh, you know, improve my communication skills. How many of you understand the difference? Yeah, so goal in terms of what you want to achieve. We are not coming to the action part. We'll come to it later on. G1 clear exams traveling to Ayodhya. Krishna Kumar. I think that invitation jo aaya tha na abhi, wo liye aaya tha. <laughs> clear CA enter in uh, first attempt. Goal 1 CMA. Goal 2 skills for job. Target weight. Goal uh, 4 going to USA for masters. Wow. Brilliant. Solo travel to Girnarji temple. Beautiful. Socializing with CA friends. Uh, to invest time for family, to become confident, to become a CA panelist. Wonderful. Going to Khatusha. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Now here, let me do a quick check of where we are standing right now. How many of you got your clear goals right in front of you? How many of you have your clear goals right in front of you? Everyone? Yeah? Now, one thing I would like to add here. Okay, even though we identify our goals, but many times we fail to achieve them. What do you think is the reason? Why do we don't achieve the goal even after setting them, even after identifying them and acknowledging them? Okay, procrastination, taking decisions in emotion, distraction, lack of discipline. We are not disciplined. Laziness, overthinking plus lack of implementation, not finding proper path, lack of consistency, laziness, not taking action. Our subconscious was not really into it. No focus. Stress, overthinking. Do you guys realize almost every single reason, every single one of you have put in over here has something to do with lack of action. Be it consistency, be it lack of discipline, be it procrastination, be it overthinking, be it any other distraction. Type action in the chat box. Now, again, if I ask you why do to take action again you will tell me the same things procrastination distraction dis lack of discipline lack of implementation all that okay so let's not get into it but here i'll share something with you which will help you take action all right by the way guys how's the session going so far how many of you are feeling amazing having your clear goals identified in front of you yes type it in the chat box how's the session going on for you are you all liking it what we are doing the process we are following over here are you all with me yeah always great when it's with you uh, when it's you thank you so much Aditi. i i love you all <laughs> and i'm so happy i can't tell you amazing guys amazing i'll tell you two reasons okay two reasons why you fail to take action or why you happen to not achieve your goals even after even though you set them up how many would like to learn? Yeah, how many would like to learn? Yes. 
one number one reason okay which i always mention which i always work upon with my mentees and i tell them here is your goal okay everyone let's say whatever goal you have set a personal professional career travel every single goal is at this level the one basic reason you don't achieve or you don't hit the goal is because the goal is here and you are somewhere over here. And what you try to do is keep jumping like a monkey here to here, here to here, here to here. Lack of consistency, lack of action, eventually get tired, not hitting the goal and then you stop trying. Type R in the chat box if you can relate to what I'm saying, if you understand what I'm saying. The goals are here and we are here. That's the reason you fail to take action. That's the reason uh, it's difficult for you to achieve that goal. Because the goal is over here, but you are standing over here as a person. And here comes a thumb rule. And if you really want to achieve something in your life, you first have to deserve it. You first have to deserve it. I want to clear my so-and-so exam with like, uh, you know, this rank, that rank. Good, noble thought. Now, even though I want to do it, why do I fail to hit the goal? Because I don't deserve it. What do I mean by not deserving it? Is maybe you are not that competent as a person. Again, um, it's not about competence and potential. But maybe you are not having that level of skill set or ability as of now to be able to hit that goal. So goal is over here and you are over here. Now, if you really have to achieve your goal, what do we need to do? We need to level up ourselves. Level up. Work upon yourself. And reach at this level so that it will be very easy for you to land upon the goal and you will never hit, miss it and you will always hit it. Type MS in the chat box if it makes sense to you. Make sense? Yeah. And that's where holistic uh, development comes into picture. If you just keep on trying to study for like 10 hours, 11 hours, 12 hours, you'll keep on failing. Because tomorrow potential 4-5 hours as of now, for example. And you'll try to jump and you will keep on being demotivated. Ki, yaar, ye nahi ho hai, ye nahi ho hai. I want to do it, but it's not going to happen. How many of you have been through in this phase? We try it, but it's not going to happen. That's why we focus on the goal, we don't focus on the goal. Where has to be the focus? The focus has to be on working upon yourself. Make working upon yourself a big, big priority in your life. Because once you level up yourself, you become a better person, automatically the goal will be hit. Simple. How many of you know some students in your circle that you know that this rank will come? Raise your hand. How many of you know some person ki yaar iska pass hona to mushkil hai? You know? Kaise predict karte ho? How do you predict them? Because of the quality of the person which you can see, which you know. So once again, thumb rule number one, if you really have to achieve your something in your life, you need to work upon yourself. You need to consistently keep on upgrading yourself. Learning skills which can help you achieve your goals. And there is no other way. Now, when it comes to that, you can have one goal as, okay, I would like to clear CMA enter or CA enter or whatever exam. But then you also need to have a parallel goal. And it's not like, okay, first I will clear the exam and then I will lose my weight. No, both will go parallelly. All your goals, holistically, you have to groom yourself, develop yourself as a person. So one goal would be in your career, Okay, I would like to clear so in this exam. The second goal would be a physical goal, a physical fitness goal, whether it is losing weight or it is gaining weight. It's important. The third kind of goal would be personal goal, personal development goal. 
okay i would like to become a more confident version of myself i would like to get this skills i'm facing problem in concentrating i need i need to learn how to concentrate better i need to learn how to focus better and we'll come to how we can do do that or how we can work upon it but right now set this categories of goal which i'm telling you okay one is your career goal second has to be your fitness and physical uh, goal okay my mind is here they know <laughs> why is it important yeah exercising third thing you have to have a personal development goal learning some skills which is stopping you or which you need to work upon right now maybe something which will make you feel better more confident and fourth category of goal is your entertainment goal or your pleasure goal okay set a pleasure goal everyone set a pleasure goal for yourself now what do i mean by pleasure goal very simple i i i uh, we have street dogs over here right and i'll call a street dog and the street dog will not come or maybe i'll ask uh, uh, so i have a niece and she's like four and half year old if i ask her to do some work okay can you please go there and fetch some water for me there's a high chance that she will not do that for me how many of you have dealt with such people and kids ki okay you tell them to do something but they never do it they don't even bother yeah now if i ask her ki okay can you please go and do this for me maybe she will not even listen to me maybe she won't do it but if i tell her ki go and do this for me and i have this kit kat for you how many of you think that she'll do it with lot of enthusiasm without me following up without me pushing it okay the moment she would bring the water for me you get the kit kat and i get the water sounds like win win yes that is what is missing we push ourselves to take action without having a pleasurable outcome to motivate us at the end type bio in the chat box agar dimag ki batti jali hai tumhare to ha pass hona hai par pass ho ke kya karna hai wo kuch kisi ko nahi pata bas padho padho pass ho jao no <laughs> what is the pleasure goal yes so very importantly also set a pleasure goal in your case okay if i clear my exam or if i if i complete my syllabus by so and so date i will go on that trip and you don't always have to go on a trip maybe i will buy my favorite outfit which i have been eyeing on which is something like out of my budget but i would like to buy that or i will go to that fancy restaurant which i keep on dreaming about and you can also get into a transaction or deal with your parents kisi i've set a goal for myself this thing and if it's gonna achieved you are going to help me with this how many of you understand what i'm saying because some of you would be wondering ki ma'am main to goal kar dunga mummy papa itne paise nahi denge no <laughs> tell them see this is what my goal for the year and this is what i'm going to do this is the date i'm going to achieve it and then if i happen to achieve it you promise me to give this to me okay it can be your two wheeler it can be your favorite dress it can be your favorite trip or it can be something which you really wanted for a long time it can be your favorite watch or getting a new watch for yourself or getting some kind of permission a new mobile phone how many of you have a list of things you would like to have kare mujhe naya mobile chahiye iphone chahiye ye chahiye wo chahiye right amazing so everyone come on first write down your career goal second your fitness goal third your personal development goal working upon the skills which you need to learn to achieve the goal and fourth your pleasure goal 1 2 3 4 come on do it and share it with me very quickly career goal physical goal personal goal and pleasure goal okay
Wow, lovely. CA enter rank, physical fitness, communication skills, all India tool. No. <laughs> physical fitness, define physical fitness, okay? What weight do you want to have? Do you want to have six pack abs or what is it? Okay, be specific. Be very, very specific, okay? Krishna, come on. Rework upon your goal. Come on. What do you mean by all India tour? What are places you would like to visit? Again, the more specific and clear your goals are, there's a high probability that you will achieve them. And the more vague your goals are, there's a very high probability that you might not achieve them. Because again, you will fail to take action for a simple reason. You don't know what you want to do. You don't do anything. And then you say, Ki, Are, main, because I don't take action, I don't achieve my goal. No, <laughs> because you don't know your goals, you don't achieve your goals. Goa, yeah. So going to Goa can be a pleasure goal. Write down at least four goals over here. Okay, and four of them are important. It's not like this or that. It's all four of them. If once you guys are done, type done in the chat box. CA enter both groups, weight 55 kg, visit Varanasi and meditate 15 minutes every day. So again, meditating 15 minutes a day is an action. We are not talking about action. We are talking about the goal. So what would the goal? Having a great emotional and spiritual, uh, you know, uh, what should I say? Working on emotional and spiritual aspect would be the goal. Okay, being more emotionally stable. Why do you want to meditate? To get over the anger or to... Uh, reduce your overthinking. Identify the goal, okay? Goal. Goal is goal. I'm not talking about action. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Thoda sa nabhi apna level badta jayega. So be very clear, okay? Listen to me carefully. Everything will connect at the end. You'll see the entire process when we reach towards the end. But do it here with me. Learn to cook new things. Okay, so cooking skills. Uh, eat KFC with ramen. Amazing. Uh, see, enter mental health. Mommy go Dubai leke jana, losing six kgs. Uh, to learn to let go. Wow. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So, this piece, okay, where I helped you set four clear goals was about leveling up. Something which will help you level up yourself as a person. Maybe being more uh, focused, maybe being a uh, higher emotional question or maybe uh, working upon your communication skills. This is where the first reason why people don't achieve their goal would be taken care of. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Are you what we are doing We are following a process. Yeah. Now let me come to the second reason why people, they don't achieve their goal. And it's going to be a big one. <laughs> okay. It's going to be a big one. Uh, because when I personally realized it or learned it for the first time, it was just mind-blowing for me to learn. Okay. So guys, type ambi in the chat box if you're ready to get your minds blown away. Yeah. The second uh, reason which I'm going to share with you is going to be a great enlightening thing for you all. Ambi, ambi, ambi. Wow. Oh, fantastic. So guys, the reason you don't achieve your goals, even after setting them, is because goals are for losers. What if I tell you goals are for losers? People who set goals, goals are for losers. Why? Because winners, they have a system and not just the goal. Goals are for losers and winners, they have systems. Type system in the chat box and I'll tell you how to build that system or why is it important. 
सिस्टम 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 या हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टूड कि क्या होने वाला है अब कितनों को ऑलरेडी समझ में आ गई ये बात विदाउट मी एनलाइटनिंग यू यू अंडरस्टूड कि कहाँ गलती हो रही है आई बात समझ में राइट सो वॉट वी डू इज वी जस्ट मेक अ गोल एंड वी पुट इट ऑन अवर वॉल और वेर एवर वी पुट इट एंड वी डोंट डेवलप अ सिस्टम विच हेल्प अस अचीव दैट गोल थैंक यू करन आई कैन सी यू चियरिंग अप सो दैट इज वेर द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दैट इज वेर योर न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन कम्स इन टू पिक्चर people make new year resolution i want to clear my exam people make new year resolution i want to get fit people don't understand what is a goal and what is new year resolution so the next thing we'll do is all the four goals which you have set for yourself for every single goal write a resolution write a resolution okay if my goal is to uh lose my weight by 6 kg then my real my new year resolution is working out 40 minutes every single day or at least 5 days in a week if my goal is to do this travel thing then uh, your new resolution can be saving up for your travel or saving up for your pleasure goal if your resolution is ki okay i would like to uh, enhance or improve my communication skills my this skill my that skill then your new resolution would be investing on your personal development and never ever shying away from opportunity to invest into something which can help you enhance that particular skill that is a new year resolution because many times when opportunity comes people they just run away how many of you understand what i'm saying they take a step back no here we set a clear goal ki no i am going to do this if your goal is to clear so and so exam then your new year resolution can be to study 7 hours 8 hours 10 hours a day or trying your best to study that much how many of you understand that is where goal is very different from resolution why people they don't get through it because they confuse they get confused right type bio in the chat box if you it's a, it's a bulb on moment for you टाइप भी हो इन द चैट बॉक्स दिमाग की बत्ती जली कहाँ गलती होती है हम गोल तो सेट करते हैं हम सिस्टम ही भूल जाते हैं टू अचीव दैट गोल एंड दिस इज व्हाट द डिफरेंस इज बिटवीन वी हैव अ गोल व्हिच इज अ सेपरेट थिंग एंड न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन इज समथिंग व्हिच हेल्प्स अस अचीव दैट गोल एंड वी हैव वी आर जस्ट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड ओके आई एम गोना कम टू द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पीस ओके हेल्पिंग यू डेवलप अ सिस्टम अराउंड द न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन सो दिस टाइम यू डोंट जस्ट थिंक कि हां मैं ऐसा करूंगी बट you actually take that action okay tap 80 in the chat box if you are ready to become an action taker 80 80 80 and i'll help you figure out a system to do that yeah okay so everyone uh next assignment for you is every one of you please write down your new year resolutions based on your goals hawa mein nahi karna hai ki are bas sab log fitness karenge to main bhi fitness karunga sab log ye karenge to main bhi ye karunga no you need to understand why are you doing and what you are doing what's the other why pe focus karna hai write down your new year resolution and share it with me in the chat box Ma'am, somehow every type of goal is related to personal goal only. Yeah, that's okay. Now I told you, right? The only way to achieve your goal is to level up yourself, working upon yourself. So that's okay. Come on, write it down. At least you would know what are some of the aspects where you have to work upon, and we'll come to building actions and systems around it.
Everyone, come on, send me your New Year resolutions. Ma'am, uh, health goal, gain weight, 45 mm daily push-up and weight lift. Wow, that's amazing. Now you have got a resolution. 45 minutes daily push-up and waiting, weight lifting. That's a new year resolution. What is goal? To working on fitness or to become a fit, uh, having a fit and healthy body. Save money for traveling. Invest for personal skill development. Study at least eight effective hours a day. Work out every day for at least 40 minutes. And never get lazy for anything. Wake up at 5 a.m. every day. Regularly hit the gym and to study minimum 12 to 14 hours daily. Try waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Savers. Silence, affirmation, visualization, uh, exercise, reading, scribbling. Wow. I guess you're associated with or maybe have attended some uh, sessions from Blair Singer or Success Gyan because I know that is where it is coming from. Am I right, Satyam? Go and doing something, uh, noble work for animals, a uh, resolution by rescuing them. Pleasure goal, new OnePlus phone. USPS shoes of black color of 2500. Wow. Amazing, guys. Amazing. So, guys, how many of you have got your new resolution in front of you based on the goals? Yeah? Amazing, guys. Amazing. And now, let's work on building a system which can help you achieve or stick to this new resolution. Okay? I want you all right now, identify three actions, okay, which you can take in the next 24 hours to help you meet the resolution or to help you get onto the process of achieving your new resolution. I'll take a quick example. Our goal was having a healthy body or losing six kgs of weight, okay? This was a goal. Then we came to new year resolution. What was the re resolution? Working out at least 45 minutes or hitting the gym daily is a new year resolution. Now, what is the action? Three actions at least. One, identifying the gym, which you can join. Second, join the gym. Third, uh, is deciding the time when you will go to the gym. Type you in the chat box if you understood. Yeah? Come on, let's do it. Every single new version, write down three actions which you have to take to work, start working upon that resolution. I've given you a simple example. Let's say your goal is to uh, travel, okay? Or your pleasure goal is to travel. Then what you can do? You can decide the location, which most of you have already decided. Then second thing, you can decide on the dates where you would like to travel. And third thing, okay, maybe you have to save for that travel goal. Then setting up a system. Okay, okay every single month I have to save 500 bucks, 600 bucks, so that by the end of it and this day, I will be able to achieve my pleasure goal. How many of you understood what I'm saying? Every single resolution can be backed by at least three actions, which will help you get onto the track. Three, it can be five, it can be six, it can be seven. But write at least three things, which you have to, three actions which you have to take right now to help you get onto the track for new year resolution. Maybe your goal is to, okay, I would like to clear so-and-so exam, right? This is a goal. What is your newer resolution? Maybe studying eight hours a day is a newer resolution. What is the action? If you are not able to do it by yourself, getting a mentor, identifying the mentor, second, enrolling for the workshops, uh, workshops and programs, right? 
Pulandoskas. Third thing, maybe becoming a part of the group who are already achieving this eight to 10 hours a day benchmark. How many of you understand what I'm saying? Yeah? Yes. Identify someone who can help you. I see many of my mentees sitting over here, right? I know you guys are there and that's that's what makes you different. So one resolution for you, I am pretty sure you guys are doing uh, way better than what you were doing earlier. How many are able to study like 8-9 hours a day? I know. I know you, you have learned the system which I've shared with you. So one new resolution can be for you is ki attending all my mastermind sessions if you are skipping that to refuel yourself, right? When you have already got the mentor, when you have already learned the system, then at least uh, showing up so that you keep on refueling yourself. That is important. Learning is not one-time thing. Wo constant touch or wo weekly connection interaction is very important. So it can be one of the new resolutions for you. Second could be studying in our e-library if you have been skipping on that. So it depends on where you guys are in your journey. If the goal is to travel, then decide date, de date, decide destination and a strategy to save money. How much would you save every month? And where will you get this money to save from? Maybe you will, uh, uh, if you're getting a pocket money, then you will keep it aside. Maybe you will, if you are not getting any pocket money, then maybe doing some random assignments or some random jobs and work, which can help you get money. How many of you understand? How many of you here with me? Yes, everyone. Have you identified three actions? Yeah. You have the sub look here? Type uh, WU in the chat box because the next lag, next piece is very important. Now we have written three actions. When are we going to get started with these three actions? When we'll start taking that action? Come on. When? Tomorrow? Next week? Day after tomorrow, when will you start? Now. Every single one of you, now. So out of all the list of actions which you have taken, identify what actions you can take right now. Identifying a gym, yes. If you have already identified the gym and you have a contact number, pay the fees. Decide on the timing. Write down the timing. I will go to gym. Take one action, okay? As many actions you can take from this list, I believe every single one of you would have at least 10 to 12 action items. Write four goals, backed by four newer resolutions, backed by three actions each, making it a list of 12 actions. How many of you understand this 12-way thing which I've shared with you? Make sense? How many of you are here with me? 10 to 12 action points are in your eyes. Now, write down. Identify, as a star mark kar do, what you can do right now and then do it. I'm giving you two minutes, okay? It's 9.53, 9.55, you have to take one action. At least one action, if not all the actions which you can do now. And those of you who are done taking the action, come on, type it in the chat box. What action you have done? 
Prepare yourself for tomorrow. Or maybe if you are planning to join the gym, then you can also identify the outfit. Okay. Do some shopping for the outfit. That is also an action. If you are not going because you don't think you have relevant outfits, then go <laughs> open a geo, open Mintra, order some outfit. Uh, be very specific, okay? Never procrastination, no. <laughs> Take the action right now, okay? Prepared myself to start reading effectively, that's good. Decide what you will read. Decide the time you will read. How many of you understand what we are doing over here? What I'm doing with you all? Come on, share your actions with me and I'll correct you. Prepared myself to wake up early tomorrow. Good. When will you wake up? Did you set the alarm? And how will you make sure that you actually wake up? Do you have some sort of accountability? Have set study hours in written. Wow, that's beautiful. Do revision of uh, Kamni Law at 6 a.m. Good, Krishna. Good. Very nice. Choose a self book for tomorrow morning reading uh, session. Wow. Wonderful. Great. Chosen a book. Pick the book. Decide the timing. Okay. What time will you read? And see, it's going to be so easy to do it and to stick to it. This is about having clarity. Exercise at nearby playground at 5.30 a.m. Wow, lovely. The next thing you can do is go take out your dress, which you're going to wear tomorrow morning, keeping it ready. Reading books while traveling in trains, it's my everyday routine. Yeah, so for those of you who would like to do it, go pick a book, keep it in your bag so that you can open and read it the next time you travel. Going for running at 7 a.m. Wow, wonderful. Wonderful, guys. Wonderful. And I feel that you guys deserve something from me. How many would like to have something here? Yeah, some gift, some, some surprise. Yeah. Come on. Put your hand here in front of the screens. Yeah. As if like ma'am, both manat karvari, both kam karvali. Now now give us something. Give us something. How would you like to get something? Yeah, because actually guys are doing a pretty, pretty amazing job. I can see you all. Come on, pat your back. Well done. Yay. And this year, their new year resolution will not just be a piece of resolution like lying anywhere, but we'll make sure that you get onto the track and start working towards it. Right? So one action I've asked you to take right now. Okay. One one from each of the resolution. The second action you have to take within 24 hours. And the third action, if it is possible within 24 hours, yes. If not, then as soon as you can. As soon as you can. Is it a done deal, guys? Type DD in the chat box. If it is a done deal, okay? Type DD in the chat box. DDD, DDD, -D 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 -D. yes. Remember. Okay, you're not just typing DD in the chat box, you're committing to me and you're going to I and you're also committing to yourself that yes, I am going to do it. Okay. And let me assure you, if you stick to your commitment and you actually take that action within 24 hours, what you have written as your best year of 2024, it's gonna come true. And if you come into me right now and you don't take the action, you know, the next year again, you'll be here, maybe not having made much progress. How many will stick to the commitment and take that action within 24 hours? How many of you commit? Yeah. And how many of you are going to be come back as a like big warrior smiles on your face? Like, yes, I did it. I did it. Come on. How many are excited to take that action? Yes. Come on. Give me a high five. One, two, three. Boom. Brilliant, guys. Brilliant. And that's like it. Okay. So let me give you an entire recap of what we have done over here. The number one thing, 
we did a little reflection back exercise for the last year to see what we have done right, what we have done wrong, and what are some of the lessons and learnings for the next year to help us get a better vision and have a better year in 2024. After that, what we did is we defined what is the best year for you. Every one of you wrote down the things. If that happen, it will help you uh, recognize 2024 as the best year of your uh, life till now. How many of you did that with me? Yes, how many of you wrote? Identify 2024, got a clear clarity. Kya karna hai okay, wonderful. Then after writing how to make it a best year, the next thing we did is identifying the goals. Okay, identifying and picking the goals from what we have written. How many of you got at least four clear goals in front of you? Remember, not just one goal, four goals. Leveling up yourself is important. And from these goals, we also came up with the newer resolution. How many of you got amazing newer resolutions in front of you? Yeah. New resolutions, got the new year resolutions, amazing. And after that, what we did is, based on this new year resolution, we identified at least three actions which you need to take. It can be more, but at least three actions which you can take, you need to take to get started with your, or working upon your resolutions. How many of you got this list of actions? Yeah. And how many of you are also going to work upon it? Come on, raise your hand. If you're going to do it, work upon it and come out as a warrior, as a winner. Why? Because winners have systems and goals are for losers. Come on, give me a high five. One, two, three. Boom, guys. Boom. And yes, with this, I am done sharing what I have to share with you all. So guys, how was the session for you all? Okay. Are your new your resolutions different from what you saw them <laughs> before starting the session? Okay. Type CC in the chat box if your outlook and what you have decided has completely changed. Type CC in the chat box. CC stands for complete change. Yeah. So, we were to learn, but maybe you guys were looking here and there. And what I did is fixed your neck. Okay. Here. Here is a path and here is a way. And I truly believe that all of you have got an amazing roadmap by now so that you know how to not just stick to any other resolutions, but also achieve the goal. And because it's only when you achieve those goals, it will help you call 2024 as the best year of your life. When we started, we started from here to here. Now, the objective is first taking action, then sticking to resolution, then achieving your goals, hitting your targets, and then making 2024 as the best year of your life. <laughs> Type BY in the chat box once again. Now you see, I told you, we'll connect the dots and we can only connect dots looking backward, not front. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Okay. So somebody asked me in between, ma'am, what is e-library? So let me tell you, e-library is a library which I have for my mentees where they go and they sit and study with the like-minded people throughout the day so that they don't feel alone in the journey. All right. And uh, one more thing I would like to share with you all. I see uh, the crowd has missed. Some of you are already my mentees, uh, my pa part of my mentorship program. But I see many of you are here, maybe attending my session for the first time. How many of you are attending my session for the first time? Can you type FT in the chat box? FT, 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 SNE. And you have to take action. Come on, type FT in the chat box. Yes. Amazing, guys. Amazing. <laughs> Want to join your mentorship program? So let me tell you, my mentorship program is not for masses. It's only for classes. And you will get to join it only when you fulfill some basic criteria and you perform at a certain level. Okay. Because when you become a part of it, uh, I also work with you. Why? Because if my system does not work for you, you come back to me and I help you, uh, you know, make it work. So uh, because there are many people who are attending my sessions for the first time, uh, I would like to share with you all. Okay. And uh, uh, tomorrow I have a new batch of my five-day workshop starting, which is called Score More Study Less program. Okay. And tomorrow uh, we are starting with it. So those of you who would also like to work with me, on whatever we have done and you like the session, let me tell you, it's not even uh, one tenth of what we do in my full-fledged training programs. So I will share the link with you. We'll keep the registrations open till today midnight. And uh, the very soon the price is going to be 499 But those of you who will enroll before today midnight, it's going to be only 199 Because of course, <laughs> you are current students and Karan uh, is a great friend of mine. So guys, those of you who are already uh, done SMSL and I see majority of it also from EPS type love SMSL in the chat box if you love that program of mine if you're coming from yeah my tribe my community yeah 
लव एस एम एस एल सो आई एम प्रिटी श्योर दैट नो बडी ऑफ यू नन ऑफ यू वुड हैव अ डाउट अबाउट जॉनिंग इट सो लेट मी लेट मी शेयर द लिंक विथ यू ऑल Here's the link. Okay, you can go, and uh, I guess we have around uh, uh, two hours. So make sure you do become a part of it, because again, that will help you learn a lot more than what you can think of right now. You see, uh, students after joining the program, they also continue the journey with me, and so many of them you can see over here. So that uh, I can also see you tomorrow, and you can learn a lot more, which can help you in this journey. Okay. So uh, with this, yes, Karan, who is now Sharan over here. सो सर करण सर इज हियर फॉर यू ऑल ओके सो गाइस वन मोर थिंग दोज ऑफ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम माय कम्युनिटी एंड यू डोंट नो करण लेट मी शेयर विथ यू ऑल करण इज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड एंड ही इज एन अमेजिंग अमेजिंग टीचर ही हैज टॉट इन the leading institutes of ca like uh, jk shah for years and then he also was a uh, you know one of the leading faculty at this uh, adnovet classes and now he has started his own venture where he is helping students okay uh, master indirect taxation okay and he is a king of gst he is a king of indirect taxes so those of you don't know him i want you to know him because there are very less people okay who who uh, who value uh, uh, who are you know come with a mindset like his because there are so many faculties over here and uh, what he did okay the way he invited me kashi you just come and give the best to my students i want to do something really amazing for them and i'm so thankful to you karan for arranging it because it does not just help me get to know your students add value to them but it also gave me an opportunity to see my gems my warriors in this year and uh, lots of gratitude for taking the initiative which you have taken and i truly believe that i could stick to your expectations <laughs> so uh see firstly thanks a lot uh can you hear me ayushi yeah perfect yeah so thanks a lot for uh, taking this amazing session i can actually see the level of happiness uh you know in the faces of all those people who kept their videos on and uh, i have also been uh, you know a part of the session to an extent i had an had an emergency to address but uh, you know that part was where you said that goals are for losers but systems are for winners that is so true because systems never fail you know yeah people fail systems but, but people lose. fail but systems never fail right and i feel uh that is the biggest takeaway i have taken from your session and i would genuinely urge all the students from my community to be a part of ayushi's community and just be her mentee because it will just change the way you think and you perceive life and i feel let's make ca a part of life and not our entire lives absolutely right? because that is the biggest take away i have had in my life because aaj aap samjho ki agar main meri mujhe jab attempt lage the tab main kya ek alag line nahi le li hoti ek teaching line nahi le thi to mera confidence bahut kam hota aaj today i can guide students because i did not lose that opportunity cost i started earning when i was 18 years of age right so i feel this is the the most amazing opportunity presented to you guys by pachi and uh, let me tell you guys i am going to keep not just call her she she is now going to be a regular at our youtube channel but coaches just like her who can help you boost your motivation your focus your diet i want a holistic you know learning for all of you guys aise langda langda ke kya ca nahi banna hai bilkul nahi you know tez tarrar bhag ke apne aap ko fit rakh ke apni mental health ko fit rakh ke ca banna hai bahut farak hai usme being a ca and being 
a CA who has lived through his journey. And I want to live, and I want you to live through that journey. Right? Itni, maine itni struggle ki hai, main nahi chaunga ke aap wo struggle kare, especially when the technology and the people that I'm associated with right now, right, can help you boost your career and boost your energy. Right? So thanks a lot to all those 85 people who attended this, uh, you know, this live session of Ayushi. Mera utna maan rakhne ke liye aapne ho kiya and I'm, I just hope ke mene aapke ho do ghante waste nahi kiye. Okay. Aapke ho do ghante hum logo ne pehle hi saal, you know, in the very first year hum logo ne usse vasool kiya hai. Right? And we have set out goals with systems which we will be committing ourselves today before this, before, before, you know, we start our journey, right? But Ayushi, if you don't mind, uh, since we have actually uh, shared a lot of mentors together, Ayushi, uh, let's do this. Okay. We are a warrior. <laughs> we are a warrior. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take mine just a second. And we should also click a photograph for this beautiful. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's click an amazing photograph. Everyone, come on, come on. Show, feel, show. Uh, this is a very amazing moment, guys. This is an amazing moment. Okay. Come on, very quickly. Turn on your cameras, everyone. Varanya. Varsha, Krishna Kumar, Sapna, Sneha. Turn on Sneha, your camera. Megha, Go once. Brilliant. So I have clicked the first screen and I, I have captured beautiful faces who have turned on the camera. Nice, guys. Very nice. I see. Let's do it now. Come on. Okay. So it goes and you have to repeat with me. Okay. Understand, guys, the journey that we are here and we are going to lead is that of a warrior, right? And these are the following traits of a warrior, right? You repeat with me once I'm done. Say, I am a warrior. Come on, everyone. Uh, okay, let me switch on, switch on your yourself. Guys. Okay, you guys can unmute yourself now. Every single and one unmute of... yourself, guys. Come on, unmute come on, come on. Let's, 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 let's make, make this a community, community where everyone is looking out for each other, right? Koi kisi ka pair kich ke upar nahi aa raha hai. We, you know, we believe in the concept of Ubuntu, where your growth lies in my growth. Yeah, yeah. and my growth lies in your growth, right? Let's do it. So it goes like. I am a warrior. Come on. I am a warrior. I act in spite of fear. I act in spite of fear. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I am willing to do whatever it takes. I am willing to do whatever it takes. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I am doing everything at 100%. I am, I am doing everything at 100%. I am a warrior. I am, I am a warrior. I am, I am a warrior. I'm willing to do what's hard. I am willing to do what's hard. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. A warrior. Bigger than my obstacle. I am bigger than my obstacle. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I act in spite of my moods. I act in spite of my moods. I act in spite of my moods. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I will never give up. 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 We are uploading this on YouTube, guys. With your permission, Ayushi, if that's okay. Perfectly. Please go right. ahead. I would like this to be And I want you all to, you know, just record this last line 
and all those you know anecdotes you know, that you see man gave so that you can remind that of yourself when you are in the moments of weakness does that make sense guys yes and uh, a small announcement a small announcement to gay guys uh, after 6 months of hard work i have finally announced my gst fast track batch thanks a lot for all the support we are a community of more than 6000 odd people on telegram and the love and affection you've showed in terms of like shares and comments and more importantly performing in the exam is amazing i really wish and hope that all of you all all of you all pass in the november 23 attempt if that's the case and if you all are appearing for your may 24 attempt then do visit my website www.taxcardteacher.com guys i made some amazing gst charts where the entire gst is encapsulated in just 45 pages and that is a gem that you that you will need on the last day of the exam right so a small initiative that i have taken and it's a uh, even cheaper than what ayushi ma'am uh <laughs> is uh you know conducting a session but i'm sure both have their own respective worths and values and trust me what we are trying to provide is 10x the value of what we are charging right so that's it guys uh we will keep continuing these sessions thanks a lot for giving us your time on the very first day of this new year god bless and may you all do very well all the best guys thank Maybe. you ayush ma'am thank you guys yes and those of you are coming from my community if you are looking forward to buying gsc lectures and if you are looking for some crash courses then you can connect with me and will help you become or uh, connect, connect with karan okay so those of you will like you okay i would like to uh, enroll into his gsc classes which i would recommend you all okay because i don't just go by uh, the other stuff but also like uh, what the faculty has in his heart and what i find about karan is is truly focused on adding value okay so i would highly recommend him as a as your faculty for gst if you would like to connect and on you can also reach out to us and we will help you connect with him all right so guys uh, can we close the session for the day yeah absolutely text ka teacher yes and those of you uh, <laughs> yeah uh, you can also visit my website it is uh, successleap.in okay and here you can uh, know about my mentorship program you can also know about my five day class so okay those of you who are who have never been into any of my workshops i will highly recommend you to start with at least five day class okay and i'll be looking forward to have you in my pool of mentees theek hai uh, all right so shall we close the session right absolutely share the photograph in your uh, group i will share the photograph in my group i have sent so, it over whatsapp amazing good night guys good night good night good night thank you so much bye bye bye